Just give him honor tonight, King Jesus. King Jesus. Just lift up those words to him. King Jesus. Yes, Lord, we just thank you so much for the shed blood of your son, Jesus. And it's uh, through his blood that we can even have any kind of fellowship with you. And we're just so thankful for that. We're thankful for uh, this church that's willing to uh, plant a new church. And as we prepare to uh, launch into this endeavor, Lord, we just pray that you would just make our hearts pure. That you would just um, change lives in the body in your body of believers, Lord, um, so that we can go forth and change the lives of others. We thank you for uh, the leadership of this church that has the vision and the foresight and the selflessness to, uh, to be gospel-centric. And Lord, we just, we can't thank you enough for that. We thank you for, for their hearts that you've given them, Lord, to desire to impact this world for your kingdom. We ask that as we go into this new uh, church plant, Lord, that you would just go before us, that you would um, anoint Brian and Renee, that you would just um, give them wisdom beyond their years, Father, and um, that you would just change so many thousands of lives um, by the power of your Holy Spirit that you would just use them in a mighty way that you would use the the folks that are involved in the music ministry that you would use the folks that are involved in guest services and every aspect of that church plant Lord that everyone involved would just be unified Lord we just ask you to bless it with the spirit of unity and we just we just receive that now in the name of your son Jesus Lord and we just um we know that you're going to do great things we ask that you would arrange the finances Lord that you would just um take that 
worry um, away and just give us the faith to, to believe you and to accept um, that you have it, Lord. It's in your hands. That you would um, spur the hearts of the believers in this church and those that are involved to, to give as necessary to further your kingdom and make it, make it a reality, Lord. Knit our hearts together, Father. Most of all, help us to be completely and utterly in submission to you and your Holy Spirit. And um, to just remember that it's all about you. Lord, I just pray that you never let us to forget that. Never let us forget it, Lord. I pray that every family would just be blessed, that you would shelter them, that you would thwart the attacks of the enemy at every turn, Lord. And um, we just look forward to watching the miracles that you're going to do, Father. And we just give you all the credit and the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
Wow, God is in this place. Do you sense him here tonight, church? Hey, and in just a second, they're going to begin to sing a song called Ready Now. I'm ready now. You know, what are you ready for tonight? Are you ready for your healing? Have you been suffering for a long time and you're believing God that will heal you and your physical body tonight? Are you ready to see a friend get saved? Maybe you need to come up here and intercede on behalf of a friend or a loved one. Are you asking God that they would come to know him? Are you ready for a breakthrough in some area of your life? And Lord, I just need to have an answer on this decision. Lord, I need a breakthrough in this area of my life. Lord, I'm ready now to surrender some idols to you. I'm ready to surrender some area of sin to you. I can't bear it any longer. I can't go on this way. Are you ready to release some things to him tonight? Are you ready for a supernatural infilling of the Holy Spirit in your life? Maybe you've been asking God, would you give me my prayer language? Would you, would you pour out the supernatural in my life? Maybe it's something you've desired but have not yet received. The Bible says that he liberally gives out gifts to those that he loves, both natural and supernatural giftings. And, you know, some of us need that to get through the day so that we can advance the kingdom of God. Because under our own power, how many of you know that we're going to fail? Pastor Brian preached about the power of the Holy Spirit at work in our life. You know, we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit when we're saved. But there's a difference between receiving the gift and walking in power at times. So I'm believing that God's going to empower many of us here tonight. Are you ready to give? Is tonight a night that you need to break through in the area of your giving, where you need to walk up here and place an offering in the God box tonight before you leave? What are you ready for? What are you walking in expectancy for in your life for Christ? If you've lost that expectancy, man, find it tonight. God, I'm expecting great things for the people of this church. I'm expecting great things for the people of our city. Lord, I'm ready. Would you begin the work in us? So as they begin to pray, as they begin to um, praise and worship, if you need personal prayer or ministry time, feel free to.